ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to talk about The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. This is a fantasy novel that was published in 2007, and this mass market paperback edition has 722 pages and definitely meets the requirements for my big book challenge of 2014. This book was also on my list of 14 books I needed to read in 2014, so yay, me! This video will probably end up being more of a rambly rave than a coherent chat, so let's get started. So, The Name of the Wind is the first in a trilogy called The King Killer's Chronicles. Our novel is set up in the format of one person telling their story to another person, and this hefty book is the first day of telling the story out of three. Our main character, who at the beginning of the novel goes by Kote, or Kote, K-O-T-E, and he is a humble, fiery red innkeeper who keeps to himself. And at the beginning of the novel, we see him interacting with his patrons, and we also see a man who is known as the Chronicler, or kind of a storyteller or keeper. He documents stories, and he is traveling along the roads, and he is almost killed by these ravaged, mysterious, spider-like monsters that Coat has no problem taking down. He saves the man and brings him back to his inn. The Chronicler immediately recognizes Coat as a infamous young man named Kvoth, who is a man of legend. There are many stories that are told about this man, some of which we hear at the beginning of the novel from some of the patrons at the inn. The Chronicler immediately asks to take down Kvoth's story. Kvoth is at first hesitant, but agrees only if he is allowed three days to tell a story, no more and no less. So the majority of the novel is Kvoth telling his story, and it starts at childhood and it ends about adolescence. All the while, we have these interludes of what's going on in the present time at the end. So the format of this novel is probably my favorite part because it creates this intrigue. How did this young man going through all of these particular things become a humble innkeeper of all things? And also, there's a lot going on in the present that we don't know about. So how did everything end up at this point? And Patrick Rothfuss just does a great job of making you want to know more. I hesitate to use the word intricate or complex with this story because as far as fantasy is concerned, it's really not that intricate. It is straightforward, just good old-fashioned storytelling. There are stories within Quoth's story and Quoth has such a great voice and sometimes you forget that someone is telling the story and then these interludes pop up at just right the right time to remind you someone is speaking this story so well. Also, there is a lot of crazy shit going down in the present. Like I said, it makes you want to know what the heck is going on. As I said, I loved the voice and the character of Quoth. I even mentioned him in a recent list of top five male protagonists, and I just read the book. So I am really looking forward to see where his life and journey takes me. The last thing I want to talk about in relation to The Name of the Wind is the fantastical elements. One of the big reasons I was drawn to this book was because I wanted to read fantasy, but it had always been a difficult thing for me to get into in the past. And so many people described this as a very accessible fantasy, and I 100% agree. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that the fantastical elements of this story are presented very logically. Like, you just accept them. They make sense. And so it just goes on. Like, it's, there's no hanging up on the fantastical elements. It is just a very good story. That is pretty much all that I have to say about The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, and I highly recommend this book to anyone who is looking to try out fantasy, or if you just really enjoy good fashion storytelling, because I feel like that is the pillar and the foundation of this great novel. And if it is any indication, I already have the second book checked out from the library, and I'm planning on reading it very soon. The only downfall of this series is that the third one has not been released yet, and there hasn't been a definite release date yet. I'm kind of thinking that it's going to come out next year, but no one knows for sure. It took me a couple of weeks to read it, but I've been in a phase where I kind of want to take my time with reading, and I don't read as much on a day-to-day -day basis. But I think that if you're on a reading high, you could definitely read this book in two or three days, even though it's super huge. And I have a new thing I want to try at the end of my book talk videos. This book was highly recommended to me by several booktubers, so I would like to feature one of their book talks in the description below. So if you want to see more about this book, please check that link. Thank you all so much for watching. If you've read The Name of the Wind or its sequel, please tell me about it in the comments, and I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye!